My name's Sheila um, and my husband Chris and I have adopted two boys um, who were one and four when we uh, took them on last year. We always wanted a family. That was uh, one of the reasons why I knew Chris was the man that I wanted to marry because he was so into the thought of having children. Um, we bought our family home in the location we bought it with the idea of starting a family on a lovely quiet cul-de-sac somewhere we thought it would be safe and really family orientated in a nice village and then started trying to have a family but um, it just didn't happen and because I'm 45 now um, and basically we decided that we didn't want to go down the IVF route because um, even at my age <clears throat> there's no guarantees uh, and the odds do fall of successfully going through IVF the older you get like it does conceiving a child naturally so we decided we wanted to get on straight away and try and be a family and not waste any more time so we decided to investigate adoption We've been together for a while, we've been trying for a while, um, been through IVF twice, we was unlucky and then we chose to adopt. We can't ask for more, it's the best thing we've ever done. We went all down different areas because we couldn't have children naturally and my mother was adopted so we decided we'd go down that route. When Simon and Audrey came to adopt, we knew they'd wanted a family. In some ways it felt unfair that Simon and Audrey didn't have children because other members of our other children did have large families and we felt it not fair that Simon and Audrey couldn't have a child and when the opportunity came to adopt, to get a family, it was absolutely wonderful. We thought the process was going to be a lot longer and be a lot harder. Don't get me wrong, it was a long process and quite exhausting but every step seemed to happen as it should. Um, so even though it was still, it was still tough going, you know, hard emotionally and mentally, um, everything ran smoothly. So you were able to manage and keep progressing and it never felt like we weren't getting anywhere. First it was, um, it was a bit scary. We didn't know what answer we were gonna get. We didn't know if we, if they're going to give us a child or not, you know. But we got there, slowly but surely, we got there. When I rang and spoke to somebody at Bolton, um, they arranged to send somebody out to see us on a home visit. And basically, she said, um, we'd like to have you and Chris at Bolton after our initial chat with her at home. Um, she was so impressed with us. But she said, we'd like to have you here at Bolton. And, uh, and as it turned out, it was a blinding bit of luck for us because it's been great for us at Bolton. You've got to cover every, every eventuality. Mm. Especially with the, some of the backgrounds they've come from, the homes, it's, you know, you've got to be make sure, haven't you, this time. People have said to me that going through the approval process and the matching process, that's the equivalent of your nine months of pregnancy. That's the equivalent of all your swollen ankles, your morning sickness, the throwing up, everything. It's the equivalent of getting through that nine months. And, um, and that's what, the way it sort of felt for us, that that was our pregnancy sort of thing, the process. And at the end of it, we got, we got the boys. Well, I think with the first child, it like it took I bet it was over two years and it was very, I think you get to a point where you think you're never going to, you know, get a child moving with you. But like second time, like I said, it was so quick. It was like a whirlwind. It was just fantastic. And uh, yeah, a lot, lot easier. That's sort of a pleasant surprise when it went with the second little child, how much better it went. We didn't have the same long drawn out paraphernalia and it was much easier, much smoother. And it, it was a lot better, pleasant surprise really. It does take a while, but at the end of the day, you, you're not just going to, you know, put a child into any home. You need to do all the paperwork. You need to match a child properly. It takes time. It took about 12 months. It takes nine months for normal uh, birth, done it normally. But like we said, we wouldn't just 
you'd want to match a child up properly. You need to know everything ins and about outs of a family. The 19th of December, yeah. and by 11th of September the following year, so what's that, nine months, yeah. ten months, we've got the boys. So ten months from start to finish. We just didn't have time to breathe and we got the boys and by the end of the third week we found out we got, got him into the school. So we found out on the Thursday we had to pop into the school on the Friday to confirm it. So all these other parents have been buying school uniform for the last three months. We had Saturday and Sunday and that rate right, of starting school on Monday. Lots of challenges there. Okay. But I think parenting is a challenge, isn't it? So you've got to be get on with it, haven't you? Yeah. You take the, whatever the comes. And the highs, yeah, the out, highs with the outweigh balls. the lows. Don't exactly, they? really. Just the waiting at the beginning. That that's the only challenge. It's all been fantastic. It's just the waiting time. I think it, you just feel a bit disheartened when you don't get one straight away. But uh, as we've said, you need to make sure you get the right one. And if the, you have to wait that bit longer, then you, you know you need to. You need to because we had got the right child that we wanted. We didn't struggle at all. You know, like I said, Lynn helped us through that. Uh, we just got together, just put our head together and we just got on with it. We've become better parents, obviously, we're getting more experience. We know how to handle things better now. We don't let him push our buttons as much because we're, we, we're just getting better at it. So, um, but the, the learning curve is steep. And I think as a couple, you have to support each other. Very, be very supportive. My daughter's got learning difficulties. Then my son's got cerebral palsy, he's a wheelchair. But a bright, happy uh, lad, yeah. isn't he? Happy soul, isn't he? Yeah, the 11 year old. 11 year old. She's, uh, she's partially, partially sighted. sighted. Okay. Yeah. The 11 year old's partially sighted. And. The 9 year old, nine -year -old. she's fetal alcohol. Um, and the little, little boy, he's um, fragile X. So we've got a mixture <coughs> of, uh, of problems. All our work, but very rewarding. Very rewarding, it? and they all fit in very well. Won't be without with any us. of them, would we? Towards our children, we don't see the disabilities, do we? Or the adoption. Our there children are aren't simple. And it was the best thing we ever did. And I would recommend it to anybody. Obviously, if I knew what I knew now, I'd, I'd be full on full parent mode right from day one and he wouldn't have got away with that. That's <laughs> what he has done. <laughs>My oldest is nearly seven and as soon as she started asking questions we started filling her with little bits of information about adoption and she has a life story book that we go through with her whenever she feels that she wants to. We discuss everything in there with her. She's quite happy and we're open about everything which I'll do the same with my youngest when she's old enough. Honesty is the best policy I've found yeah. all through their lives. They yeah. know what's happened, they know they're adopted <clears throat> and it helps you. Don't, there's nothing later on any problems going to arise from that, really. Because you've been honest, that's a, the way it is, I think. Oh, my word. I was so nervous. I actually felt when we walked in on, for the panel meeting in front of everybody, um, at one point when I was sitting down, I actually felt lightheaded. I thought, oh, I don't need to faint here for the first time ever. Um, but once I'd sat down and once we got talking and once the questions were flowing, again, it, once you've, that first question's out of the way um, and everybody smiled, which helps. Um, and uh, we'd had a nice chat with the lady who was chairing the panel before we'd come in. I can't remember her name, but she was lovely um, and really reassuring. Um, and it went, it went well. It, it went really well. Um, and we were obviously approved at that point. Oh, uh, first time, very, very daunting. Um, but so relieved once we'd come out. Second time were quite enjoyable because we'd already done it and we knew exactly what, you know, what we were saying and what we were expected. So yeah, quite enjoyed it. Panel was good. Panel um, was a bit hard. So many people staring at you. You don't know these people, you never met them before. They're asking you a load of questions. 
we got through that fine as well, but they helped us in that panel as well. They wasn't just, they weren't staring at you, but they helped us as well. So that was the most helpful thing for us. The first time we never went, well, we didn't go in person the first time. Um, but the second, this time, the last time we did, and that was great. We looked, we was quite nervous about it, but we didn't need to be. It was absolutely we were brilliant. brilliant. We went in about three times. And yeah. I think 20 years ago when you adopted, it wasn't they didn't the done do thing. It. Bit of a no no, yeah. but now you're welcome to go in and have a chat with the people who's, yeah. who's on the panel. And we had it, we were very emotional, but yeah. great words. It were, were great. It were brilliant. Yeah. I, I would recommend that if, if you're asked, if you'd like to go, go. Because it was great. Go into it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. The social worker that we have at the moment has been super. Um, she's just there when we need her. We know she's just a phone call away and uh, she's always ringing to check everything's OK. But, yeah, they've been absolutely fantastic this time round. Fantastic. And same the first time round, but because it was so quicker, I think it made it a lot easier. It really did, yeah. We go to the Christmas parties. We go to the get-togethers, picnics. Mm. So you can meet all the other people and share yeah. your experiences, that, yeah. good or bad and get help out of it, can't you? We love it, don't we? Still yeah. go, and still the, go to and, everything, yeah. And the social workers have been great with us. They've been there when we've needed them, which is good to know. That's what you want to know, isn't it? Support, yeah, it's yeah. a big thing. And, yeah. and Bolton's got the support, hasn't it? Yeah. Just, um, but that's it, that's the yeah. way it is. I think we've been so lucky with, um, with our social worker. Um, she's just been brilliant support. She feels more like a friend now, really. Um, but um, just always seems to have the right answer. The first time I spoke to um, the social worker, she was very helpful, to be honest with you. Um, and she's been helpful from the start to finish. She's been there for us whenever we needed her, no matter what time it was. We got a lot of support. I, do, I, I take my heart off for my social worker. She helped us out a lot. That was ideal when we went with the, the first one to that function you organised. The little one, yeah, met a little girl that was at her school and she didn't realise that she was adopted and so it made it all the much more, I'm not odd one out kind of thing. Everybody's, you know, there are other children in the same thing as me, you see, and it's wonderful. But it's more just having people there just to sound off and talk to and but knowing that if we ever had any problems there'd be like half a dozen people we could ring for help um, and I think as long as you know it's there even if you don't need it again it's that security blanket and uh, that's been there all the time and we know that that will be there for for the, till they're grown up children the children and the pleasure of it having our own family which we weren't we couldn't have at one time yeah now we've and got knowing you've given a child a good all. Yeah. You've filled the gap, because a lot you know. of children out there, Yeah. there's a lot of and children want parents, and there's a lot of parents out there that, you know, shall we do this, shall we do this? And there's children there who need you, and you can supply a good all, so we'll go for it. The same as any other two sisters argue, uh, love each other to bits, sometimes they don't want to be near each other. Uh, fantastic, the elder one looks after her, mothers her. Uh, the little one plagues the older one slightly, but that's just normal, I'd say. Uh, fantastic. No different to how I got on with my sisters when I was younger. Um, but looking forward to it, because we knew how much Simon and Audrey wanted a child. And we thought it would be beneficial, they would enjoy life with the children. And it's worked out that way. They benefited, the children have benefited, I think it's safe. The whole family's benefited. They've been really smashing. I am the taxi service now, the after-school clubs and everything. It's all those things that mums tell, tell you they do, and I'm doing it now. It's fantastic. They're my little girls, they're my babies. Um, I'll do it again tomorrow, if I could. It's the best thing we've ever done, hasn't it? It's made us complete, hasn't it? Yeah, besides marrying me. <laughs> Saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant. It's the best thing we've ever done, honestly. Yes, it was. It won't be without any of It's hard work, but... Parenting's up and downs, and so you have to yeah. deal with both things, don't you? Yeah. Brilliant. It's as though they've been part of our family for years. They come in and they're special. They're, all the children are special, they're all magic. But they come in, they're special. I'm 
Grandad Chop Chop and Granny Normal. It, it's absolutely wonderful, they're brilliant. They're not, they're, they're not different from any of the children. Not felt like they're different, they're part of our family. They always, they're Simon and all his little girls. Yeah. That's what they've always been, that's what they always will be. And they're our grandchildren. Yeah. Love them to bits. And as I say, I lost a stone. So that's a real well, silver that's a, lining. That's a bonus. <laughs>